What is good everybody, it is Black Sage, and today I kind of wanted to do a different kind of video. Now this game was announced, what, three months ago? If I'm not mistaken, it was announced three months ago, and it also had an alpha test, and I just happened to come back to check out the trailer, what, a day or two ago? I've been talking about it ever since, and I even put a, a, a post on Twitter about the trailer and stuff like that. Now, this game is PC only, and the game is Blue protocol as you can see by the screen it is a mmorpg action rpg if you want to call it either one of those and it's made by bandai Nam well it's being published by bandai namco and it's being developed by project sky blue now for what i've seen in a trailer it looks this game looks beautiful you probably can't tell by the, the screenshots i have because my computer is not that great also, let me announce this. I am getting a PC so I can run games like this on my PC. Now, back to Blue Protocol. Now, this game, we, we are still not sure if this game is going to be released in the West anytime soon. But all we can do is keep hope. There's still a chance that we can get this game in the West sometime soon. Now, they did do an alpha test, and I happened to do my research as well. And I came across a guy named cry if i'm not mistaken a really cool youtuber man you should subscribe to him he actually got to play in the alpha test with you know japanese players due to his friend i forgot what his friend did for him but he went all into detail and i wrote everything down from what i've seen and what i've learned this game is it's looking to be a pretty good pc game yeah, this is pc only like i said so I'm kind of new to the PC, you know, PC gaming thing. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get into it next month. Really, like, I'm really new. So, if you guys can coach me on some good PC games, RPGs, because I'm an RPG kind of guy, and I like to, you know, go around, open world, stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and start with the types, because that's more of the, you know, that's the thing that you should start off with. So, of course, there's four types. And the, twi the uh, excuse me, the types are Twin Striker, which... It's the DPS class. It's, more, it's, it's the attack class. They hold. They do the dual weapons thing. So you can hold two swords. It's two axes. From what I've seen, I only seen two swords and two axes. And they do, you know, close range combat. So of course, yeah, you know that type. And then the next type is called the blast archer. Now these guys are like the range class. They have bow, bow and arrows. So they're basically archers. It's in their name. So of course, you, you kind of get the idea of what this is. So, each let me let me go ahead and state this. Each class can have different types of skills. I'm gonna get. I will get into more of that soon. But they do have different types of skills from what I've been, you know, learning as of now, as for the past what two to three days. But back to the types. The next type is the caster. That's basically the mage class that does the spells, probably does buffs, debuffs, healing techniques, stuff like that. And then we have the is it the Aegis? Is either the Aegis or the Aegis Fighter, which is the newest class they have announced, what, I can't remember how long ago. But it is the tank class, or yeah, basically the tank class that takes all the damage. They wear, you know, the heavy armor, whole shields, and the big swords, and stuff like that. Now, this game does consist of, you know, creating characters, so you can create your own character. It is pretty simple as of now, due to us only seeing so much from the alpha test or hearing about the alpha test because there are also there's also screenshots of the alpha test that they released project sky blue released online and on their website of course you can change your skin color you know it, it was limited due to the alpha test so it, you know the pretty it's just pretty simple it's like just the simple things that you would do with your creative character stuff like that now back to you know me watching cry's video since he played the game he said uh in terms of games the similarities that he's seen were like he's seen you know similarities from like you know xenoblade chronicles tales of basiri i can never get that name right and tales of arise which is pretty they look the same in my opinion of course we're getting the tales of arise in the west on console and pc so that's kind of i can the tales of arise I, you you can tell the similarities man right? because they look exactly alike now in terms of anime he said oh and I, I see it too if you watch sao part one 
this is exactly how the game is. Like, if you think of yourself as Kirito, okay? And you put on that helmet and you're in this big, huge, massive open world game due to you being in a headset. That's what this game is kind of is really similar to being in the SAO universe. And it, from what I've seen and heard, it is huge. And he also compared it to an anime called Grimgar, which I've never seen before. I mean, I've never seen before. Now that he said that, I kind of want to check that out. But yeah, he those are the anime similarities and the game similarities. Now we're gonna go back to the you know the town, the hubs and stuff like that. He said when he was in the town, the towns are massive. They are huge. So there are multiple towns, but they were only in the Apple Test. The players were only limited to one town. So they split the I wouldn't say one town. They were where well, they were limited to one town, but they were also limited to one area. So they split that one area into four, three or four zones. That's how big an area is. So that's think of one area versus multiple areas. This is a this is going to be a massive world, guys. Like really, really massive. Now, this this fact I wouldn't even say a fact. This this question is still up in the air. He did say there was about thirty to forty or more players in a in each town or in the town or slash server. So. My question is how many players can actually be in a actual server or due to it being an alpha and you're all put in one town, I can see 30 to 40 players. And also that the town is huge. I can also see that as well. You get that open world feel. Once you go into town, the town consists of shops and, you know, stuff where you buy weapons, you can craft stuff. You There's a mission board too, a quest hub. That's what they, that's what he called it as a quest hub. You accept quest. Uh, head out, come back in town, head out after you accept another quest and stuff like that. They also have teleporters because due to the world being so big or certain areas being so big, running is just not the option unless you just want to sightsee, which is, that that's the kind of guy I am. I like to sightsee. I don't like to skip trips. That's just, that's just the type of guy I am. And it, I really, really, really love that these guys are putting, they're all into this game. I, I really do. I really do. Now... As far as gameplay, I always call him Sky. His name is Cry. His YouTube name is Cry. But as far as gameplay, he said the gameplay was smooth. Uh, going, like I said, going in and out of towns. You know, you accept quests, you go out, you accept quests, you go back out into the open road. Also, you can switch and level up multiple classes. Now, it is not confirmed if. The level is just going to be it's just going to be one level and you just switch classes or each class will have its own level that is not yet confirmed i've checked that i tried to look up multiple sources and each source i've looked up from havion to cry to uh is it mmo bite that has not been confirmed yet and there's also customizable skills of course so you you know damage buff still so like i said with the cast and stuff each class is going to have their own skills so what cry said he he did play dps he did play dps the twin striker so there was i guess there's like elite combos there's special moves there's just regular combos there's you know the, the heavies and stuff like that the elite combo is what i'm really interested in which is pretty cool and the special moves but you can also manually sheath your weapon. When I say sheath, I mean, you know, you're holding your sword and you can actually, while walking, press a button and stick it back in the holster and just continue on with your day. Like, you, they don't automatically do that. You can manually do that or you can just hold the sword. You manually do that, which is a pretty good, you know, a pretty cool thing. And I know it's a small thing, but I, I, I mean... It's really cool to look at the small stuff like that. And also, the number of enemies... Okay, let me confirm this. He also... Because he played the game. He, Cry himself, said you don't need to be in a party to get help. You can be healed by passing players that you are not squatted with. So, a certain scenario he was in... He was fighting a boss, and I guess his level or his weapons weren't high enough, and he was on the verge of dying. You know, some some random player was just just happened to run past him, and then look, 
and pulled out a bow and he said he he shot him with the bow and the bow actually healed him and then the guy just went on about about his day that is pretty that is so cool so you can just help you know random players stuff like that like Man, it's just the small stuff, bro. Like, it, I, games like this, man. Games like this is. We need games like this, man. So, also, think of DC Universe. Now, when it comes to, you know, quests and stuff like that, there are objectives. Eject now, if you play DC Universe, every time you do a mission, there's always an objective. You got to kill a certain amount of things. You have to, you know, use a controller for a certain amount of things. So, Let's say I'm fighting, you know, eight wolves or something like that. Or this guy's fighting eight wolves, but I need to I need to kill eight wolves too. You can actually jump in the guy's fight and you guys both receive the credit for killing all eight wolves, even though you're not squatting. That I, I find it, it's really it's really cool. It's really, really cool. They're, they're like, man, we need more deaths like this, man. Also if you want to be squatted up, I think the squads go up to six, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, up to six is what I've heard. You can go up to six, but what Cry said, he did not squat up with anybody. He went solo doli v doli. So, yeah, man. And you can also craft weapons, level up weapons, stuff like that. You know, you know the basic RPG type of stuff. But from, I think that's about it that I've seen from that video. If you want to see his point of view because he actually played the game and he can explain it a lot better than me go check out his video i will leave a link to his video in description in the description excuse me down below and yeah man um to all my pc gamers man i need y'all to request me some pc games man because I'm, I'm gonna start this pc gaming stuff next month i do have a great build i am spending a lot of money for it so it has to be great so I am going to get into the PC thing. I will be streaming most of my PC games on Twitch. Just because, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, games like this needs to be streamed on Twitch rather than YouTube. But we will see. Since it's kind of anime, it's, it's an anime type feel game. But we will see. But I appreciate you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you think about this game to all my PC players. Comment what you think, man. I'm coming over to the PC side as well. I already have an Xbox PS4. I'm coming over to the PC side as well. So hopefully you guys, you know, welcome me with open 